The Federal Polytechnic Nasera is located at kilometer 40 along Kefi Nasera Road in Nasera Local Government Area of Nasera State. It was established on 1st July 1983 under the administration of Al Haji Shehu Shagari to establish Federal Polytechnic in Nasera in the then Plateau State. The main objective. The main objective of the federal government in establishing the polytechnic was predicated on the government's desire to transform the Nigerian society technologically. These objectives are contained in the Federal Polytechnic Decree No. 33 of 1979 as amended and Federal Polytechnic Amendment Decree No. 28 of 1987. Some of these objectives are 1. To train people to acquire technical and vocational skills which are needed for the economic and social development of Nigeria, especially in the fields of agriculture, industry and commerce. 2. To train and provide people who could improve the quality of the environment by applying their acquired knowledge in finding solutions to our environmental problems for the convenience of members of the society. Three to provide opportunities for our students to be able to appreciate the standard of technology in all its complexities. 4. To provide opportunities for professional training in engineering and other relevant techniques such as science, technology, commerce to serve as catalysts for technological and industrial development of the country. I'll pass you on to the school's acting librarian, Mr. Adamu Bukar Sharia, who will be recounting on the journey so far. In fact, the Polytechnic have gone through so many phases. When we started at the temporary site, the first rector was uh, Prince Walateru Alabegi. In fact, the school started with some challenges. One challenge of accommodation. They are in Onya a small community at that time. So to get accommodation even for staff is a problem. But the people of Nasara town are very kind and they love people. So some of them donated their houses to staff. So we started at the temporary site. The registry is along Toto Road. When you are going to, you know Toto Road when you are going to Abadi, across the bridge. That's where the registry is. The bursary department is along the old general hospital inside town. You know the old general hospital. That's where the bursary department is. Then the classes were the temporary site plus the library. After some time, the registry and the bursary secured a place when you are going inside the town, they call it Salimina Mama's house, it's by the, by the left. If you are going to Dr. Balas Hospital, if you go to Dr. Balas Hospital in the town, so by the left, it's a very large compound. So the registry and grocery moved to that place that time. We, the library and the class, we are still at the temporary site. But when they built the School of Environmental, just that four blocks, then the rector and the temporary site library was moved to this place and then School of Environmental moved here, leaving School of Business like the temporary site. So when Ola began finished his tenure, Dr. Zaradin came, that is the second rector. Dr. Zaradin came and stayed for some time. He is the one who established engineering, the first block of the engineering, the one who built that, that place. Then after Zaradin, then Mr. Bello acted for some time before Dr. Blama came in as a rector. Dr. Blama spent eight years as a rector. He did some buildings like this uh, computer building, he the one who did it. He the one who started the library was during this time that they built this library and then he built some blocks 
in the engineering. Then after Dr. Blama, then Dr. Bugaji came as a director. So Dr. Bugaji stayed for four years. He is the one who built this upstairs. This building outside. It's a one one story building. The one who built it. So he was here. He stayed just for four years. Mr. Salami took over as acting rector. He stayed for two years. Then after two years, he was confirmed as the rector. And Salami stayed for eight years, which means in all he did ten years, two years acting, and then two, uh, eight years as the rector. Salami is the one who built all those blocks, which we call IGRA. I don't know whether you must come down with the idea. Yeah. I read you block. Internal generator level. We the one who believe. You see, there are so many classes. So after Salami, then the Dr. Shetima came as a director. Dr. Shetima came, he spent four years. He the one who built all this, most of the good buildings he built by Shetima. If you know where we are now, the mass form, library science, that complex, he one who built it. He built one in a school of business. He built one for where we have the general study department here. And then he built the 1001 capacity, which we call Zambisa. All the buildings in Zambisa are built by, by Shatima. He is the one who built the administration block. He also built the Muhammad Buhari Hall at the gate. All these are built by Shatima. He was not able to get second term. So he appointed the president director on acting capacity. So he acted for a year, then he was confirmed as director. So now he's on the last. Step of his uh, tenureship. I think he, by December he will finish tenure. We have so many students that uh, graduated here and they are doing very well in their various endeavors. For example, the present senator for Nasra Wadada. Then we have some, many of them are working in Abuja, but some I don't know why, specifically why they are working, but there are no many of us. Graduates are working in Abuja, some in different, uh, I can say almost all over the federation. Because we started, uh, students started graduating since 1986. Uh, Another notable person who graduated here, the time I was doing my NYC, is in pre NB, is our present director. He did pre NB here. Did ND here, did it here, and now he's the present rector. So he's one of those that we are proud of him. We have uh, others who are directors in Abuja. So, at the, in fact, I can say that the school has produced so many notable people who are in a good position now in Abuja. Well, the, what I wish. This Nasra community. Nasra should have been better off than this, but there were main challenges is access road. If you see the road from Cape now to this place, the so disheartening. Because I've been going to Cape almost every week, but now more than one month, I dare not put my in this. Then we have problem of uh, like uh, problem of light, water, and others. Well, what I wish for the for the polytechnic is uh, I want the polytechnic to grow higher and higher, and then maybe to get the status of a university. Or as we are planning now, we want to do some postgraduates in collaboration with the National University, so that most of our staff here can study here and get their paid. I will start by congratulating the director. For what he has been doing since he came to office as the director, at least he has achieved a lot. For example, in terms of intake, 
the number of Indians have increased, number of departments have increased. Even at the last accreditation, I think there are so many new departments which are coming up, and we have secured uh, accreditation. All the programs that came on board, I think we are, they are all successful. And the entire staff of the Polytechnic and students, I wish everybody a successful tenure and completion, especially for students, those who are graduating. I wish all of you a successful graduation.